Well, Mark, we're speaking to you in, in very different circumstances to what we normally would be. Uh, how are you coping with all of this? Uh, yeah, obviously the circumstances aren't aren't ideal by any stretch. Um, it's it's difficult to to set your mind around it. But I think at the moment we're um, me and and my family are coping well. We're um, we're finding things to do in the house and. Uh, we're keeping busy. It's still early, so it's it's still early into the the three weeks that, that that's been said. But it's it's obviously it's obviously good to keep your mind active, keep your body active, and um, I think everyone keeps saying it. Exercise is is probably your main your main source of uh, of keeping yourself sane. What have you been getting up to? Because you've got three daughters, isn't it? So I'm guessing a lot of yeah. homeschooling. Yeah, so um, Monday we had the work sent through from the school to to do. So it's uh, it, it's been a been a tough week for me. I tell you, um, English, math, science. Um, it's opened my eyes up a little bit. Um, but no, it's me and my me and my wife have split the work. So we uh, I'll do. We've got a, an eight year old, a six year old. So um, we've sort of all alternated between between each other who, who gets the the elder the elder work which is a, a, a tad more difficult let me say um, but then we've, we've got an 18 month uh, little girl as well so she's roaming around so it's it's causing chaos but um, it's good chaos and um, and to be fair they've been golden for us so it's it's made it a lot easier what's mr Albrighton like as a teacher then strict um to be honest when they bring the the homework back when they're, they're usually at school I've, I've not really got many patients now I don't know whether that's because I'm tired from training or or what but I, I've, I've found this quite calming it's it's all been it's all been quite good it's uh you've got the full day to 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 do it so it's it's made it a little bit easier um and then I'm I'm good at giving breaks, so if I feel like I need a break, the kids can have a break. So it's uh, it's good, and we've we've obviously had the good weather, so the uh, they've been getting outside quite a lot. What have you been doing in terms of, of keeping fit? Have you been given a pack sort of thing, or, or an idea of what you need to do? Yeah, so we're we're all on we're all on a, a an app that's we've had work sent through from from the fitness coaches and the. The strength and condi- conditioning coaches to, to work through. Um, at the minute, it's it, it's every other day, um, some runs every other day, uh, whether that be outside um, or or on the treadmill in the gym, um, and then some strength programs we've had sent through as well. So it's um, it, it's obviously important that you you keep yourself fit. But I think um, I'm not sure what what everybody else is like, but I've found that as a a good way to sort of take myself away from the situation and uh, and it gives me a chance to sort of clear my head a little bit. What about the other lads? Are you in contact, group chats and stuff like that? Yeah, I spoke to Johnny Evans this morning. Um, he was he was saying something similar, obviously, doing the, doing the homeschooling. He's got young children as well, so I was, was chatting about that and uh, just about the situation. So... It's uh, we've we've also got the the group chat as well, which uh, there's a few things been put on that, um, and then obviously you can keep up to date with obviously Instagram and social media and that. Now you can see what some of the lads are doing. I, I see Vard Vard seems like he's he's having a bit of fun. I know obviously football is is not really at the, the front of many people's minds at the moment, but it but it's been a good release looking back at some things, and I guess for you guys. The last game you played was Aston Villa, of course. You, you had a big hand in that game. Fantastic home win. You got two assists as well. How important now, with hindsight, that being the last game, was it, do you think, that both as a team and you personally, you put in such a good performance? Yeah, I think um, I think it's obviously, it is obviously good to, to go out on a win. But I think um, if you were to speak to, to some of the Villa lads now, that's, that would have been long, long forgotten now with everything that's happened. Um, the I know the manager uh, Brendan Rodgers is is speaking to uh, to players. He phoned me yesterday just to see how how I was getting on, um, and he did mention that that my shot at the end was my the last action that I've had. So um, yeah, the shank that went into 
into the, the the stand behind the goal was uh, was my last action. So yeah, that's something to look back on, isn't it? That's all he, he remembers now from that game. That's all he remembers. He didn't remember the two assists. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much for, for catching up with us, Mark, and at least being able to have a little look back at the uh, at the football. Uh, before we do go, is, is there any messages you'd like to, to give to the fans watching? Um, I just I just think follow the follow the guidance and follow the instructions of, of, of what we're all being told. Stay stay at home. Um, it, it will save lives. There, there might not be anybody that's uh, that's been affected sort of closely at the moment. Um, I know a couple of people that have been in and out of hospital, so I can see I can see what it's doing. Um, you just need to stay home. It will save lives. Um, whether that's whether that's somebody close to you or people that you don't know, please just follow follow the guidance and what what we've been told. And um, hopefully this will this will all be over before um, before we know it.